six months in Windows programming will make you want to jump out one. <laughs> but those three files seems to be the answer to why this is not running on React OS. Hey guys and welcome to a new episode of Nomadic Dmitry channel. As you can see this is the React OS. And as in previous episode, I thought it's an interesting experiment to run this operating system on a real hardware and just explore how it looks like. But I also think that this operating system is really interesting for running some legacy software, for example, like DOS software or Windows 3.11 software even then. So for example, here I have a program. If I try to run it, it says that basically um, uh, Windows 16-bit apps are not supported by NV NTVDM at the moment. The reason behind that, yes, React OS doesn't support running Windows 3.11 apps. But there are many apps still existing that it's actually interesting to run on that platform. So I, I thought about adjusting this operating system so it's actually able to run those kind of apps. So let's try that. Well, the React OS is not really stable, so <laughs> even running that kind of application completely brought the whole system down. And I don't know, it's just like, okay, what's going on? Okay, it completely crashed. So basically, without specific modifications, we're not able not even run Windows 16-bit apps, but it just crashes the whole system down. As far as I understand, looking at the roots of the problem, I need this specific files to be copied to my System32 folder to React to S. React to S System32. And uh, okay, let's sort this by list. And I need NTVDM. Uh, let's see where it is. So I'm just gonna attempt interesting thing here. So I have copied those files that needed to run Windows 16-bit kind of apps from my Windows XP installation. I don't know if it's gonna work, but those three files seems to be the answer to why this is not running on React OS. So if I copy this stuff over to my system32 folder in uh, react os i hope it's gonna solve the problem and i'll we'll be able to run those apps but i have no idea i never tried it before and those libraries are also available open source libraries from wine engine and I think it's also gonna work, but I just want to have better compatibility with the 16-bit apps and maybe it's gonna work. Okay, so expand executable, do you want to replace it? No. NTD, okay, this, those files actually exist here already. Hmm. All right, so at least I'm gonna NTVDM. Where is it then? Uh -huh. I think most likely it's a hidden files, so I'm gonna okay by default it's actually set to show hidden files and folders but where is the ntvdm i can see it anywhere okay here it is ntvdm so i'm gonna rename it to like something like this and then i'm gonna file find what's next ntvdm dll i think it's actually the one i already copied but let's rename it just for the sake of having the backup and expand also X expand I need to find it somewhere expand yes executable so if I change it like this is it gonna work now or not let's try that paste okay success so it copied and then gonna let's try to run Win 16 app here okay so guitar executable file I have a flash drive let's try to run it if I go to properties it's gonna say oh it's actually have compatibility let's Let's first try that, and then if it doesn't work, I'm gonna set the compatibility mode to something. Mm. Okay, now it just doesn't work. So if I set compatibility to Windows 95, 256 color. Oh, it also has additional compatibility mode. Does it have Windows 3.11? Wow, it's actually interesting how many additional compatibility modes are available here. That's interesting. Okay, I'm gonna apply and let's try that. No, doesn't work. Maybe some other Win 3.11 app gonna work. All right, I have some file browser. Browser, it's the same thing. All right, what if I set the compatibility mode here to Windows 95? Doesn't work. Okay, maybe if I reboot. Okay, so something crashed. Okay, wow, again, crashed. I'm gonna reboot and try if it works uh, now because maybe it's gonna reload those libraries and maybe it's gonna work. All right, so I just reboot it and let's try that once again. No, doesn't work. File browser. 
<laughs> Six months in Windows programming will make you want to jump out one. <laughs> this is funny. Those old developer jokes from 90s. Maybe I'm gonna try some another app and uh, let's see how it works. Okay. No, it's a Windows Commander 32-bit, which is not exactly what we want. We want 16-bit apps. Something, something, Noteman, for example. What is this? Noteman. Browse, show struct files, Noteman. No, it doesn't work. All 16-bit apps still doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. What does it say if I copy it? Let's say, okay, well, I'm gonna copy those files on desktop and... Uh, Actually not on desktop, I'm gonna copy those to my some additional folder here like junk junk. I'm gonna copy this junk here. I'm gonna open terminal cmd um, cd junk noteman dot executable no, there's no input. Before it used to say something, this app is not compatible, now it doesn't even work. The attempt has failed. And copying those files from Windows XP or any other version. Maybe if it's if I, if I copy those from the Windows Server 2003, which is supposed to be compatible with the React OS, maybe it's gonna work better, but I'm not sure. So my next step probably would be replacing those with actual uh, files from the Wine project, basically. Maybe it's gonna work this way. So guys, so far the only solution to actually run all those applications has been opening it all inside the dust box. For example, I have here this app I want to launch, so I press the enter. I have it running right here. Basically, I mean, <laughs> by the way, it says to register send 35 in US funds to and it shows the address. That's funny actually how it was back in those days, sending a check to actually register the app. So I'm gonna try running a bunch of other apps, but honestly, that was not an intention. My, my intention was to actually run it through natively through React OS, not through the React OS plus DustBox combination. I'm gonna try it later in, in later videos, I guess. So thank you for watching and please subscribe. We're gonna discuss more situations like this where we run old ancient applications inside either the DOS box or React OS because React OS I think very interesting project.